Hey guys, it's JakeArmy9 on YouTube.com today. I have a review over Windows 7 Ultimate, like I promised in my earlier video with the giveaway in it. Um, this review is just going to be over the layout, some things you can do in it. It's not really in depth, but if you guys want me to do more in depth view on the Windows 7 operating system, I will be glad to. Just uh, hit me with a comment or video response or uh, PM me, and then I will uh, get those reviews out to you guys. Uh, beforehand I'm just gonna say I have a giveaway video on my channel please watch that the giveaway is gonna go until uh, I have a hundred subscribers so um, I have I think about 10 right now so if I after I hit a hundred I will be giving those iTunes gift cards away so watch that for more information well guys let's get started with this today um, there as of right now there's only three main operating systems of Windows 7 there's Windows 7 Sorry guys for this. Uh, there's Windows 7 Home Premium, and then there's w Windows 7 Professional, and then there's the Windows 7 Ultimate, the version I have. Um, if you guys want more information on that to see if your systems are compatible with it, please visit Microsoft www.microsoft.com. I will have the link in the description to the Windows 7 operating system download and uh, registration, even buying versions of them. Um, and this is not. Uh, telling you guys this is only for educational purpose. You can go on YouTube and look up uh, downloading Windows 7 and just look on around on YouTube for the uh, activation things. My friends have done it. They say it works. So I have no clue. I brought the legit version. So um, if you guys want to do that, go hit up YouTube. Uh, well, okay, what well, we're going to start out first today is the icons and just a desktop review. Okay? The icons are over here. They look really nice actually. They're big. They have, uh, you actually can see them. You can make them smaller or bigger, depends on if you want to do that or not. Okay, I don't. That's just because my videos are running. Um, they're really nice, actually. And what's cool about the folders is if you put something in the folder, it'll, like show a little preview of it. And uh, in this, it'll show you a little preview. And then your programs. Um, it'll it, just real nice. I like the layout of the icons. And over here on the right side, this is real cool. They're called gadgets, and this is kind of like Vista, but they're a lot different. Like. Vista, they were locked in the corner for some reason. I never knew why, but look, you can move these ones around and mess with them and move this one up there. And what's real cool about it is you can move it anywhere on the screen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be even or it's not on no track or anything. You can move it up, move it to the side, and it'll stick. But what's really cool is it, like, snaps into the top if you want. And you can snap it over here, and then you pull it away and it'll snap again. It's real cool. I thought that was a nice feature they uh, included to be able to move it around. So... I think that's one of the many improvements Microsoft made to Windows 7 that was a downfall in Vista. Okay, um, I'm going to show you the taskbar down here and a few things you can do with it. Um, like right here is a little thing that you can put programs that are running instead of going into like Windows XP how it was whenever you had to right click, go to properties, and then you would have to change it all in here, remember that? But no, you don't have to do that now. It's just right down here. You still can, but you don't have to. You just take the program and drag it in. And there you go. There's the program. And another cool thing is it's, this is like the taskbar. You know how it had that quick start on the Windows uh, XP Pro, how you could have your icons? But your, all your icons are right here. You could stack it up all the way over here. And how you do that is called pin the taskbar. Look, you go right here and you say, oh, I want to pin this to my start menu. That would be where you click the little start button. And then, but if you want to pin it to the taskbar, you press pin to the taskbar. And it's right here. And you can click on it, it'll work and stuff, and then watch. If you want to take it off, just drag it, and it will give you this little menu. Or you can right click and go unpin from a uh, program from taskbar. So see, that's just one of the very easy things they did. Now I'm going to open a couple Internet Explorers. Okay. I'm going to push this one over here a little bit. Okay, put that one kind of jagged, and open this one right here. I'll just open another one. Okay, oh, there, here it comes. Um, my computer is lagging a little bit because of the recorder program I'm using. Um, it's not Windows 7. If This is what's real cool about this, guys. Is like, okay, if you hit the top with it, see that little orb thing at the top where it's like, has a little like, water, uh, if you throw a rock in water, kind of shoots you like a little ripple. I guess that's the word you could use. Well, if you do that, hit it up at top, it'll make your screen real big. It's called Snap. And if you, okay, now, for example, okay, if you have two windows open, right, and they're, like, right there, and you have a whole bunch of different stuff open, you can slide over the icon at the bottom, right, 
and it'll show you like a preview of what's on the window at that exact minute. And see that little thing, how it has a little like transparent box around it? What that's showing is this window that I'm on, the one my cursor's on, is on bottom. And then if you slide over this one, that little box is on the left hand side in the corner. Because it's meaning that window is on top. So if you want to change the order, you just click on it. And it'll pop that window in back and bring the window that you want in front. Well, another cool thing is called snap to uh, view. And what you do is you hit it off the side and it'll make a little, little transparent box like it does. You do the same to the other one. So if you're having something on the screen, you're researching something, you've got your Microsoft Word over here and you're typing something, you could just okay, I'm looking off my research. It's a really nice feature they put in there, I think. Um, another cool thing is I'm going to go show you uh, how to theme it and stuff. Okay, personalize. You go down and right click personalize. And then here's all the cool things you can do with it. You can change the window 7, just click on it, and it'll give you that kind of color. This is clear. And then there's my theme, I saved it called Winter. And then you have a whole bunch of different ones, but if you go on Microsoft's website, you can download them for free. And the, how I was talking about the gadgets, you do the same thing. Right click, go down to gadgets. And guys, if you want more of these gadgets, just go right down here to the right hand uh, corner and get more gadgets online. Really easy, I think. Um, then you get more gadgets, it'll say, oh, download it, just install it, you don't have to move anything or anything, go into the Windows operating system. No. You just click it and install it, put it right here, where your next open spot is on this page. And then that's what I think is cool, and then you just drag it and bring it out. Like, I have the CPU one right there, and then I have a whole bunch of other ones you can get from there. It's really nice, iTunes, any music player, picture stuff, it's awesome. Okay, another thing I'll show you is uh, screen resolution. They didn't have this on XP. I'm not sure if they did. Leave a comment because I'm not sure. Um, it actually gives you a recommendation to, uh, like, they it kind of reads your TV and sees if it's HD, if it's, you know, like mine is. It's um, 1,440 by 900. That's HD all the way. Um, or your monitor will show you, like, two monitors. And you can detect another monitor. Identify. Identify just shows you the Christmas of the uh, one and then it'll show you the other one. It says you can change your land um, landscape or orientation of how your computer or monitor is set up. Um, okay, I'm going to right click on computer to show you guys that I am running a legit copy of Windows, Windows 7 Ultimate, Dell um, 3.2, uh, my, my name, work guru, and it shows you all the support stuff. If it wasn't real, guys, it would not show this. Because this is only through the windows when you activate it. That's the only thing it shows. It, it wouldn't. It's like a, it's kind of like a watermark, and not many people know that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, show you something. Okay, open. I'm gonna open two windows. Just an internet and my uh, Windows Media Player. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Right. Okay, I'm searching. Okay, look. Look at this. It shows you a little preview, and you slide up to the preview. It'll show you what's on it, which I think is cool. And if you okay, you're like, oh, I'm on the internet, you know, and it'll, you can click on the window and you can start searching. That's another cool thing I thought was with Windows 7. Just there's so much more, guys, and there's this little thing down the corner. So show desktop. It will um, take your icons, any programs off, so you can just have a clean desktop if you're not there and you don't want to be looking at your stuff or, you know, stuff like that. It's a little privacy I think is really cool about it. And you can change all your pictures and stuff, start menus and anything like that. Well, guys, this is just a uh, short video on the uh, Windows 7 Ultimate Operating System. If you guys want me to do any more reviews on it, any more in-depth looks on any part of it, just hit me with a uh, personal message, uh, leave a video response if you have any questions or anything. Um, I have had this system. I love it. There's no problems with it. So, uh, And just subscribe to me. Rate this video five stars. Favorite if you want. Get my channel going. And... Before I forget, you, we do have a giveaway video. After I get 200 subscribers, I'm giving away three iTunes gift cards. Look at my channel videos. It's like a happy holidays giveaway. So, um, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. This is Jake RM9. Out. Peace.